Blog Talk Radio. Yo, yo, what's banging, man? This is your boy Nutso. Mr. Get With It and Get Your Face Knitted. Reppin' that Q Burrow, nigga. Flushing Queens, man. I'm out here with my motherfucking family. You already know what it is when you hear that. Who hey? Yeah, nigga. Screwball Radio with Black Poet and King Eric. Common, what up? This is what we do, man. Nutso. Queen. Was brangin', nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Life Lady Long. Live from the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So keeping the vibes right. You know what I'm saying? We got Screwball Radio with your man King Eric, Black Poet. Shout out my man Common. You know how we do. You know what I mean? Screwball Radio. Get in tune, baby. We out here. Let's go. Yeah, what up, man? It's your boy Common, man, man, Screwball Capo, and I'm here on Screwball Radio with my brother Black Poet and King Eric. You know what it is? Escape the drippiest of Screwball. I'm here with the wildest and the grimy, King Eric and Black Poet at Screwball Radio. Oh, yeah. Shout out my big bros for life. Son Nitty, Kyron, Common, Bronche. Rest easy, KL Hostel. Who is What's hood good with y'all? This your big homie, prodigy hood from the South Central Cartel. I'm tapping in with the homies, Black Poet, Eric Mossberg, and Screwball Radio. Bang that. What's up? This is Prince Powell Rule, a.k.a. Marcano from The Leftovers, and you're listening to Screwball Radio with my man Black Poet, a.k.a. Eric. Who huh? has... Yeah. What it is, what it is, y'all. This should play a part of the legendary cocaine. And look, I want to give big ups to my East Coast family. Shout out to Screwball Radio, you dig? Man, big ups to Common, Black, Poet, and my nephew, Eric Mossberg. That's what it is, Screwball Radio, Buddy Boy, the legendary cocaine. We on that monkey with a funky campaign, you heard? Man, keep it wiggling. Oh, hey, what up, yo? Screwball Radio live from the Matrix. Black Poet on the check-in. Got my nigga King Eric on the motherfucking news. My nigga Kami with the sports. We gonna chop it up. What's goody, yo? Yeah, what, what? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yo. 80, 80, Screwball shit. Radio live in the bay. Episode 85 underway, man. How y'all doing? Gucci, Gucci, you know everything gangster with me, man. I'm trying to stay sucker free, you know? Word up. We got to stay sucker free. Hit these niggas with some fire. What's going on out there this week, E? Man, I want to take this time and opportunity to say this, too. You know, to spread some positivity going on. Now, I want to spread the awareness about this brother. He goes by the name of King Randall. He's trying to get a school together for for young black boys. It's called the Life Preparation School for Boys. He's opening that up in Atlanta, Georgia, and he's been on like a cross-county campaign throughout the country, you know, spreading his message and, you know, recruiting young men to do volunteer work. So I just wanted to take put that out there and let people know that he's getting that school officially up on August 3rd. So I want to put, take that time and, and use this platform to salute him on that because he's been on the grind with that for two years. Well, that's what's up. Salute to the homie. We need that. We need, we need more of that shit, you heard? That's what we need, man. Motherfucker, create opportunities for the hood, man. That's all niggas need is opportunity, you know? That's that's what we lack in a lot of opportunities. That's so true. shout out to him. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, the brother. Yeah, the brother's doing a lot of great work, man. You know, helping these young guys get trade, get trade experiences, and learning financial currency. Especially when it's a young guy doing that, it's more so make a more impactful meaning behind it. So salute to him. What's the name of the school? The name of the school is the Life Preparation School for Boys. 
ATL. How to get in contact with them? How to get in contact? Yeah, I'm gonna send that to. Yeah, I'm gonna send that to you. Um, I'm gonna send that to you on the DM. No, it's for the people. It's for the people to hear. Yeah, the contact information. Yeah, 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 yeah. The contact information. You can follow him on King Randall. His Instagram. K I N G R A N D A L L. You can email him at emergeking at gmail dot com, and I'm gonna spell that out: E M E R G I N G K I N G at gmail dot com. Emerging. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said emerging. <laughs> all right, all right. That's what's up, man. Shout out to the homie, man. We need more motherfucking. Shit like that for the youth, man, because a lot of niggas is lost, man, you know? They need something to follow, something to, something to do with they self, man, something to learn. They got to learn something. And that's that's what it sounds like he's doing, so take my hat off to that, brother. That's what's up. Yeah, another news, too, yeah, what's definitely. been happening with the Supreme Court. Oh, go ahead, comment. Go ahead, comment. Yeah, the, you know, the hood needs bosies, man. You know, they took away both seasons in a lot of places, man, where people could learn other other things than than school, you know what I'm saying? Like carpentry, like A C, like, you know, like auto mechanics, like the hood don't need no more drug dealers. We don't need you know no more I'm drug saying? dealers, no rappers, no basketball players. We need some niggas we need some computer fucking. We need blue or- collar yeah, we need blue collar. We need doctors. We need, you know what I mean? Word, word. Learn to work with your hands, man. You'll never go broke. Word, painters. You know, there's a, there's a million hustles out there, man, you know, and um, don't get caught up, you know, watching, you know, the people on your block because they, they making money, you know, you can, you can yep. make money a hundred ways, man. Rappers. Don't get caught up in none of these rappers thinking they out there fucking grinding. The niggas ain't grinding, yo. They not on the street. So y'all should know that, you know. And anybody that's looking at rap niggas and thinking that's, oh, I'm going to follow him, do what he's doing, you're a goddamn fool. You know what I'm saying? You, you, that's, that's, that's not it. Word. Because they're always trying to blame all kinds of shit on hip-hop. And all through my whole life, I listened to all kinds of hip-hop. Ain't no rap record made me want to go do no shit. If anything made me want to do some shit, was movies. <laughs> I ain't on front. No music never made me want to go do some shit. Oh, but Scarface? Oh, that nigga had me open. Rambo? Oh, that nigga had me open. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, man, don't be blaming shit on hip-hop. Blame shit on on society, man. And the government, man, because shit is on the hood. Yeah, man, what? speaking of government, I was going to build on this here. Apparently, protesters they read they ran one of the Supreme Court justices, Brett Kavanaugh, out of out of a restaurant last night. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's I mean that's that's what niggas gotta do, man. You know you gotta. That's how people protest, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you got the other motherfuckers that protest one way, run up into the motherfucking Capitol, try to take shit over violently, and then you got. Protests like that Where you make motherfuckers uncomfortable You know what I'm saying Now I, I ain't with the going in front of nigga houses And shit like that Protesting in front of their house And shit like that But if you see them motherfuckers out in public Oh give them hell <laughs> You know what I'm saying Give them hell Let, you, let them know how you feel well, yeah, he was in the uh, I'm not with that going into a motherfucker House in front of his house hell. Doing that shit Yeah, he was trying to eat in this restaurant, and all it was like thousands of protesters outside. And he couldn't even get a oh. food. He couldn't even eat in peace. 
Oh, word. It's like a, it, they got footage of that? It happened in D.C. I'm going to see if I can find That's some footage. It's been all uh, over the cabin. They got footage of that. Crazy. Did you see footage of that? Not yet. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Fox How is you on. know it's thousands? Because it's on Washington Post, it. it's on The Hill, it's on Fox News, it's on... Damn, how the fuck they assemble a thousand motherfuckers up that quick? <laughs> you know, you see a motherfucker, oh, I see like a couple of them or maybe four or five people who happen to catch him out there. How do you know he was there? A thousand motherfuckers you said was there? I don't know about that. Yeah, there was a mob of protesters and... It made the situation very uncomfortable to where now the Supreme Court is getting like extra security. Like they they get more extra protection since these incidents happening because he also called he also had another threat last month. An armed guy wanted to go and get at him too. So he's been like the guinea pig of this shit. They've been they've been on his yeah. board. Yeah, man, and again, we gotta rest in peace. Shout out to all the people that this another fucking mass shooter on Fourth of July. You know, I don't know, man. This is like the fifth, sixth time we came up here talking about rest in peace to some mass shooting shit, and don't seem like it's gonna get no better, yo. Yeah, Word man. Up. The Fourth of July also was crazy. Peace. You know, rest in peace to uh, a couple actors that passed away over the weekend. I mean, you know, during the week. James Can. James Can, man, the OG man. Paulie. And Paulie from The Sopranos. A word. Damn, yeah. man. All the dope actors too, man. Like. All the icons, you know what I'm saying, from back in the days, man. Them niggas icons, man. That's crazy. Holy walnuts from from the Sopranos. Oh, that's my dude. Damn. Yeah, because oh, Henry from Goodfellas, he died like two months prior. Who so James Conn died two break. months ago? Nah, he just passed. Nah, he just passed. Yes. Nah, what was this guy saying? He was saying two months up. prior. Oh, you... oh yeah, Talk Ray Liotta? Yeah. You talking about Ray Liotta? You talking yeah. about, you saying Henry Hill, like, you talking about the actor's name. I'm talking about, like, yeah. what are you... Yeah, he, yeah, him, yeah. The, old, the, the one, the real Henry Ben did. I'm talking about that. I think we gave him his. I think we gave him his praise uh, a couple shows ago. Yeah, man, a lot of talent, man, a lot of talent. The world will be more empty without them dudes, man. But the ill shit is they left they, you know, they art behind. For us to watch and enjoy, man. That's the dope part about being an artist, man. Your art will remain forever. So, yeah, rest in peace to the G's. Yeah, that's the key to leaving a legacy. You leave a legacy to everybody from generations to come to still appreciate and check out. When you leave, it's like when you leave, you leave your mark on this planet. It's like you, you still never left. Yeah, they gone, but you know, we won't never forget them. Never forget them, yo. And that's the beauty of art, yo. It stays forever. Yeah, on on another another news, you see how they uh, assassinated the old the former prime minister of Japan. Oh, oh man, I saw that. They caught that one. I don't know how they let that dude get up on him like that. Like, 
even though he ain't the leader now, but still. Yeah, he was the former. Wasn't on their job, man. They was not on their job. And he and he went in there with a with a handmade gun or a handmade weapon. By how Hell yeah, it's hard to get weapons out there. He made him some shit and got up on this thing. Yeah, and did you see the uh, the basketball player that's in Russia? She went ahead and played guilty. Oh, Brittany Griner. Yeah, man. She. I don't know about that move, man. Yeah, I don't know if I would have played guilty. Not in Russia. Oh, so you but admit you admit that... you did you you admit you did this? Okay, so anything we do to you, we can do now. Yeah, but you know the defense is that that she didn't realize that it was in her bag. Like it might have been in there from from a previous time, and you know that's not that me and you was talking about poet. Like, you know that shit could have been in there, and she just ain't remember that it was in there. You know. Yeah, she's you know it's not her first time over there, man. She she's fucked up. She totally fucked up. She's, yeah, I don't know if I would have. Yeah, I don't know if I would have said, "Look, I had, you know, like it's mine." I I don't know about that. You know, after Russia. after she wrote a letter, yeah, after she wrote a letter to the president, you know, saying that she voted for him and and everything, and you know. And he just responded by saying, you know, we're going to do everything in our power to get you back. And then she goes ahead and and takes the guilty plea. See, in America, a guilty plea, you might can work something out after that. All right, boom. They'll do this, da 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 da. A little probation, a little some community service, maybe. Boom. We don't know what the fuck rules they, gonna, they do over there in Russia. So... I'm not pleading no kind of guilty in nothing in Russia. Yeah, I think she's aware of that, that she messed up on that one, for real. Because just like you said, the laws in these countries are totally different. And they might just make through 10 years, man, just boot camp alone. Yeah, yeah and, just, and, that's and, you know. And Russia's saying, man. if y'all want us to release her, y'all got to release this guy. You know? Oh yeah, they want some more ill, notorious Cobra Commander nigga. <laughs> they want that nigga out. I don't know if they're gonna make that happen. The dude they want to change it for yeah. is a bad dude. Yeah, he's like an arms dealer or something like that. Yeah, they trying to get. They trying to get that nigga for her. Like nah. We'll give you fuck. And what do you? Uh, and speaking on this topic here, man, I want to know what you guys think. Now, the coach, you know, her coach said that had this been LeBron James, they would have got her back within a snap of a finger. What do you guys think about that? I mean, look how fast they got ASAP Rocky out. You know, that one in Russia. And that was no, it wasn't was Russia, but school. still, it was still overseas. It was still overseas. You know what I mean? Like. He's, he's still in America. We had a better relationship. We had a better relationship with that country, man. You know, than we have in Russia. There wasn't no beef going on. You know, she's she's still American, so it doesn't matter what beef is going on. You're gonna fight for your people, or you're gonna let your people rot. You know, that's 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 how I look at it. You know. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you burning popcorn out there? You burning popcorn? <laughs> Not me. I'm in a I'm in a quiet place. Nah, man. But yeah, shit is real in them different countries like that, my nigga. Gotta be careful over there. I know for a fact. Don't fuck up. You don't want to be locked up abroad, kid. That shit is a different That's animal. Something. How long has she been she down right now? I think she's been 
this is probably about six months. Year. Yeah, Damn. probably like six months. And they're talking about they wait until like December. They're gonna hold it till like December. So she's gonna put in like a year. And they got some other American dude that they arrested for some spying shit. That he been down there for a couple of years, right? His family complaining about how they can't get a letter from Biden and Brittany getting all this attention because she's a star. And I'm like, yo, don't be hating, yo. <laughs> and what I like about how she did science. her letter, I like... I like to also included other detained Americans in her letter, so that way it won't look like she's just looking out for herself. So that was a good move on her behalf. I mean, it's the truth. She ain't just trying. They got a lot of motherfuckers over there. They just holding, man, for like pawns in the game. But I don't know how many of the motherfuckers admitted to doing it. <laughs> She played guilty over there. It's like, yo, it balls and they caught now. They can do whatever they want to her, yo. That's in a time like that where they could just change and make the rules and however they feel. I was like, man, I don't know about that move. Yeah, that's a that's a strange move. I guess a lawyer, a lawyer told her, you know, go ahead and say you did it. And see what happens. See if we can work out some cool. versus trying to trying to beat it. You know how it is over there. Who I know how it is here when you lose a case trying to beat it, take it to trial. You're done if you lose. Over there, they might just send you straight to the motherfucking the camp. Niggas jail is crazy. Let's keep our fingers crossed for the OG, for the female, man. I hope to get, she get back on American soil soon. Or, definitely. definitely. I'm, I'm I bet you she won't go back it. over there to play no motherfucking basketball. Hell. That's another thing, because she went over there, because, you know, WNBA don't really make that much money over there. So she went over there, you know, to get her grind on. Play ball for over there. They pay them better over there. You know, if, they, if the mm-hmm. WNBA paid the way they're supposed to pay, she wouldn't even been out there. That's a whole nother issue, though. Crazy. They need to pay the women. They need to pay the women more money so they ain't have to go over there and do shit like that. Unless you yeah, that's crazy. Pay. But, yeah, but in the meantime, what we're going to do is that time is that time part of the show where we're going to hit y'all with some bangers and we're going to start it off with John Jay's leave something dope joint if anybody want to call up the number is 516-531-9596 episode 85 is underway screwball radio let's go hit him Top of the top, I get the scene jumping. Open up shop, I got the beans rushing. Talk about nothing, these niggas cream puffing. Forcing my hand, I'm about to leave some. The big step of niggas is replicas, wrong stepping is death to ya. The hustle I was blessed for the blessing, but ever since the door opened, they've been soaking my methods up, but never wanted to smoke, cause I could flow with the best of them. I saw tape rappers of all shades and fabrics, it's a habit, I just let niggas have it, it's haphazard. A bunch of lab rats are stuck in a bad pattern, all that reaching till you see niggas leaking like bad bladders. See, I could tell niggas is frightened, they not like them, the blade like my piece is hitting, I can't stop swiping. Teflon right in that raw, you all like it This is 16 bars of that pure, I got prices I sat at that kitchen table and bagged every point I got heavy production like a factory in this joint And fuck I niggas see it, I'm not conceited by choice I know it's a fact I'm needed cause half of these niggas moist What we doing? Top of the top, I get the scene jumping 
Open up shop, I got the beans rushing. Talk about nothing, these niggas cream puffing. Forcing my hand, I'm about to leave some. Top of the top, I get the scene jumping. Open up shop, I got the beans rushing. Talk about nothing, these niggas cream puffing. Forcing my hand, I'm about to leave some. I got a vendetta, cause I know I've been better Get your chin swell up, trying to go against the big fella I'm coming to bring terror to this terror They on the sideline, wondering if it ends ever Allergic to broke, surgical with the flow And I'm hoping you niggas taking the personal word to low Y'all ain't even got a vision, you trying to learn as you go I got pinpoint accuracy with this murderous flow I'm talking matter of factly, I'm exactly Whatever you niggas claiming, and we ain't the same And that's why they back me and motherfuck how you feel, I'm talking actually Catch him trying to act, it gon' put the Mac to your acne Listen, it ain't a problem I can't fix I know how to land fists Work with my hands, you know the damn twist Still account for every gram when I'm wearing this I ain't with the plan, it's Teflon saying this, I'm gone BX to Paris, back to Detroit, tight in the A7, Ron Shan G-Zone, let's go. Hey yo, I'm on time with the rhymes, yo. Defining grime mode, divine flow, rewind those, the sign goes. Met like finding your soulmate, Rasha. Digging through the whole crate to bring you this positionless. Sons wish you was this nice. Kids like it's tight, wanna be like Mike. See history rhyme, no mystery, I'm like the end of hype. Vanny Penn is nice, they can set the Christ. They can spend a life trying to reach this point and never make it. That's the naked truth, take its proof in this flow. Split like wishbones, don't pay to stay in this zone. You won't survive the war, I rhyme for sport, you can't do it. Yo, it's like you're trying to beat it and you find a store where lies the source to trip upon the iron horse. Marks the spot, target lock, test flex, your carcass drop, all the stop, I'm leaving this stand. It's been hard to watch, opposition start to co out the culture, flock of vultures. Exposure here, something they supposed to fear Power of the word, we should hold it dear Evoking fears, the motive's clear Career, career is the air is Where I'm trying to steer this vehicle for rhyming He who's not compliant, let's agree and form an alliance Vibing with his own and Ronsha Titan Been known to conquer, he cold, behold the monster Transformation is necessary when blessing every track Betty snap like wind streak, if he neck to back Drop is a razorback, amazing track Have a stand down, maybe face the back this tandem is saving rap You might now be safe The last garbage of seeds You making trash Then release the side of waste plant sanitation For things you can't imagine Surrounded by germs Rappers never learn Devoid of all concern Like hair follicle strips And rocket perms Put it down It's not your turn So hot it's got to burn And plus my whole existence Is electric So I got the nerve Shock you into submission I glisten Casting light on suspicions Brought to you by divine intervention And premonitions Outside of my conscience Supernatural style in progress, Mike and Seven like demigods. If you want some favor, then give us offerings and sacrificial gifts. The rap is intricate. Once complete, the track will hit a lick and slap you in your lips. Cause lyrically, I might just be your master kiss. Sort of disgusting like creeps who tend to ask for kiss with dragon breath and chappy lips. Now we back to this, like final chords in a backwards flip. Accidents on mic sets and rapid dummies like crashing whips. Still, I'm accurate. Focusing on hints I have to get Imaginative and every feeling starts from my abdomen Healthy gut You brought me here to tell me what I'm chilling with G-Zone and Rasha New territory for us to conquer nonchalant Until provoked to call me Blanca I'm a real street fighter And peace provider Plus the speech is lava And yo Bronx to Detroit to Paris Heat force the marriage Beat scorched by savage bars That'll torch the average Rapper unexpected Knock him off his horse and carriage With so much flow We have to place it in your Bronx to Detroit to Paris, he forced the marriage. Being scorched by savage bars that'll torch the average. Rapper unexpected, knock him off his horse and carriage. With so much flow, we have to place it in your court for clearance.
after they all dying. I'm here to save this shit like I was saving Private Ryan. I like that beat. I like that beat. Who oh, man. I like that beat. That's that's crazy. I like that joint. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out DJ Ron Chef from French. Yeah, man. We got a lot of overseas producers, friends, all over the world. They really dope with this hip hop shit, yo. Don't sleep, man. Don't sleep. They, them hip hop is overseas. Hard body. That real hip hop popping over there, yo. Shout out to everybody in the UK. Shout out to everybody over there, man, overseas, man. Europe is popping. They're not playing with this shit. They've been studying the game. they nicer than a lot of American motherfuckers. And shout out to them. Wow. That's what it is. And, you know, while we, while we were listening to the music, I wanted to just also bring some new news to the table, which is affecting a lot of music industry. It said here that songwriters are now set to receive royalty increase despite appeals by Spotify and other streaming platforms, meaning they're going to get like a 5% increase in royalties from 10.5 to 15.1. Oh, they've been against that shit, huh, Spotify and all the motherfuckers. You know they they trying to shit on that. But that's what's you know, up. No, that's for sure. Yeah, they got to regulate that shit, man. Music game got to be regulated, man. Yeah, they all been against it, too. There's, I'm talking Google, Alphabet, Amazon, Pandora, Spotify. They all been against it, which is which is foretelling to me because people are actually thinking that this is beneficial when it's really not. So for them to go against compensation, just show you and speak volumes of where they stand. Probably a good reason why Snoop pulled those records from, um, he pulled the Death Row catalog from the streaming sites. Yeah, man, these places are making millions off of motherfucking hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Because you get a song, right, and you get a certain amount of hits, you get motherfucking sponsors, you get all kinds of shit, and these guys are the ones getting the, the money from the sponsor. Not the artists. The, these guys are getting the money. Unless you got your own site set up and you're getting your shit you direct the niggas to your shit, and you can you getting paid like that. But other than that, these motherfuckers is getting all the money. You got a million hits. That shit don't add up to at least a, the, the, no money. But you're generating. Well, I'm always talking about it. That shit, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. So definitely need to be regulated. Got somebody got to look out for the artists, man. The world without music is a boring world, especially hip-hop. Ain't no other genre of music dominated like hip-hop, because you can make all kinds of music out of hip-hop. Country hip-hop, fucking, you can make oriental hip-hop, fucking, Bollywood hip-hop, all kinds of shit you can do with hip-hop, yo. Like, I don't know no other culture that's been copied more and that everybody's a part of. I don't know no other culture that everybody's a part of, yo, and want to be a part of, except the hip-hop culture. No other culture, nobody, everybody's behind, yo. The world without hip-hop would be fucking whack. That's for sure. Wagner, for real. Without the hip hop influence on everything, turn on your TV. You see hip hop. You might not see our kind of hip hop, but you see the hip hop influence by the way people dress and by the slang they saying, the the, the the music and shit. Every commercial you watch, any commercial, you gonna see some kind of hip hop in that shit. Yep. Some kind of influence. You can't tell me, though. Hey, you 
and see. And even with even with a lot of TV series as well, like even on Netflix, you see so many '90s classic '90s hip hop being like personal soundtracks to a lot of these shows. Hell yeah! Definitely, definitely, they 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 they, they just you know raping the game. Even A and E right now. A and E they got like personal biographies from different um icons and parts of and different artists. Like they had an episode with Fat Joe, they got an episode with Ice T. You know, they're telling their personal stories, so everybody's trying to jump into the hip hop pot. A and E never even wanted to touch rap before. Oh no, nah, nobody wanted to touch rap. Shit, nobody. I was just watching this fucking Vans commercial. I had fucking DJ Premier B come on. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so Vans sneakers? I'm like, what the fuck? You're going to start hearing a lot of my old shit soon on a lot of these commercials and shit. So, fuck it. Yeah, I'm going to get some money too off of this shit. Especially when you look at that laundry commercial and you hear... ODB, hey, dirty, baby, go get your money. I was like, wow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All kinds of shit. Even though if they make it corny, they still fucking using that shit. I seen the fucking Annie Up. Motherfuckers using Annie Up for some fucking corny ass commercial. I'm like, damn, they trying to, what they trying to do, man? Trying to clown our shit? They trying to they trying to what they what I would say to gentrify the hardcore. Yeah, shit is crazy. Like Annie Up yapped them jewels and they got that shit on like a fucking soap powder commercial or some shit that like shit that. Was <laughs> <on> you guys <laughs> served. <laughs> that shit was on you guys served when you know with you the dance movie with uh B two K. They use that, and they use freeways on flip side. And, and those were, like, huge street records at the time. Look at Arby's. The motherfuckers, they be using hip-hop. I think, um, I forgot who wrote a lot of shit. Somebody wrote that. I think Pusha T or one of the motherfuckers yeah, came Ar- over with the yeah. fan. Yeah, he also did the I, McDonald's jingle. We got the meats. We got the meats. I think Pusha T came up with that shit from the clips. Yeah, he also did the McDonald's one. Or? Yeah, and Bizarre, he did yeah. Arby's. I think he did. I think he did the one called Fuck Arby's. It's crazy, man. Pusha T is definitely behind. Everywhere. Hip hop is ill, yo. No other culture, yo, is being fucking everybody want to be a part of, yo. You know it's something special. Especially, yeah, not even that. You see, you see all these uh, fast food places, and they got, you know, the sweetie, the sweetie special, or. You know, KFC got you know the 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 white guy Jack Harlow, you know meal, you know where where they incorporate the hip hop artists and even Travis Scott. I think Travis Scott was like one of the first artists to have his own Big Mac meal or, or special kind of meal that he get. Even reality TV, but all the reality shows like Flavor Flav kind of. Set that shit off with Flavor Love and all that shit. Everybody wanted to tune in to watch Flavor Flav in the mansion with these chicks. As you know, all kinds of other shows are spinning off, coming out. And it's all based on the Flav type of and shit. And how about you know? this? I don't know how many, you know, I don't, I don't know if y'all watch baseball, but, you know, you had different hip hop artists throwing out the ceremonial pitch. Like, you know, for New York, Large Pro threw it out. 
Uh, little oh, Dirk threw it out for Little Dirk threw it out for Chicago. Then I just seen the girl Sweetie Sweetie throw it out for the LA game. You know, Fifty Cent did it a couple years ago. You know. Yeah, man. It's a hip hop world, yo. Fear of a rap planet. <laughs> Fear of a rap planet. They definitely uh. They're definitely feeding off of hip hop. And don't mention don't, don't mention yeah. the politicians. They did they dove in that heavily, especially around campaign season. They go in. Remember heavy the dabs. The Remember the dabs. Everybody was dabbing, not even knowing what the fuck that really was. <laughs> Hey, Bernie Sanders doing How about you dab? Got <laughs> you got Ice T doing Cheerios commercials. I don't know if y'all seen that. <laughs> nah, but the funniest shit is the funniest Jack moves is the dab. Because you know what the dab is, really. It's a motherfucker coughing from weed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it turned into, oh. Little kids are doing in the commercial. Do y'all know where this shit came from? Y'all don't know what this shit really came from, yo. But they jacked it. Then Cam Newton started doing it. And this all's crazy. Everybody's doing the dad move. The dad, the dad. But that's really some street shit. It's crazy. Yeah, they, they just find ways to just try to gentrify it and, and make it appeasable for... You know the mainstream is suburban cats, but we know the origin. It's mad shit, yo. Like hip hop in general, just it comes from the street. It comes from the struggle. It comes from the gutters. Now it's like That's for sure. now you now shit is in Macy's. <laughs> that shit is in Macy's, nigga. Shit is on the Grammys. Shit is all over the place. That shit come from the dirt. Nobody want nothing to do with that shit. Well, you got Thurston Howe on polo campaigns. You you know, that's big hip hop influence all around the world. And how? And you can't. T- and that comes from the gutter, gutter. That's strictly gutter. Niggas is jacking you for your shit. Niggas. <laughs> Now look, the man himself sitting up there with Ralph. Come on, man. Can't tell me hip hop ain't the shit. Yeah, hip hop is the shit. Yeah, yeah man, it's a, it's a beautiful culture, man. It, it gave us a lot of memories. It broke new stars. It saved a lot of lives. Most importantly. Only thing we just we just doing our part and just keeping the integrity intact. And shout out to Run DMC, man, for real, because they cracked the bank open for a lot of for for niggas to get money for real. Like you know, the shit started up in the Bronx, the Cool Herc, you know, and a lot of other motherfuckers. But Queens niggas broke the bank open. You heard? That's why I think the Mount Rushmore of hip hop, Run, DMC, Jam Master J, Cool Herc. That's 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 it for me. You know, but then you gotta go by um, errors I'm, too. I mean, it really should be, you know, you know, Run DMC as a whole. Like they should all three be. Like one stone, you know, like they'd have to put in one stone. But you got Cool Hurt, you got uh, Coke La Rock, you know, you got all these legends, you know. There's a lot of legends, man, a lot of legends. Grandmaster Cash. Yeah, and like everybody got their of, own little, you know what I'm saying, list and what they think should be. And nobody's list is wrong, because that's what they feel. But if you want to make an official one, 
They have to be the, the, the forefathers of this shit, the founders. I say Run DMC because you got Run and D. Them niggas, is, they represent the MCs. Jam Master J represent the DJs. And Cool Herc represents the DJs too, so. I mean, but technically, Coke yeah, Rock was like one of the first. Coke Rock was one of the first MCs, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of other first MCs that niggas never heard about, like that niggas never really knew. He was a well-known MC. There's so many spitters, man, that niggas unsung. That argument is gonna go on forever, but shout out to everybody, man. I played a part in this shit. Cause, uh, there's a lot of niggas rich right now off of it. That's a beautiful thing. Definitely. Definitely, man. You know what? I'm just crazy how. I'm surprised nobody really wants to reach the run DMC book version. That'd be very interesting. Oh man, Run DMC version. Nobody wanted with the King kid. Run DMC versus who though? <laughs> Come on, man. That's the, the Nah. Just to, yeah, I mean, just nobody to wants smoke up there just to show the catalog because those guys are so influential that. The youngest need to need to realize who the who were the four part of the four founders of this shit, man. Like Run DMC. Ain't nobody wanted to run of DMC, days. man. Ain't nobody wanted to run DMC. Yeah, niggas can't fuck with Run DMC. Now no verses, man. Nobody. Niggas <laughs> can go up there and do a bunch <laughs> of shit and have the crowd going crazy. I think the next versus type thing they should do is the old versus the new niggas. That will be a dope versus. Get niggas from different eras to go at each other. Like the 90s versus the 2000s. But 80s versus the 90s. 80s versus the 2000 niggas. Uh, that will be interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> what was the last verses though? With that fucking R&B shit? Yeah, with uh, oh Marion and uh, Mario. I seen some fake shit going around about Chris I Brown. I mean, there was Usher. a whole bunch of them going on. No, there was a whole bunch of them going on during that Mario shit. You know, you had Ray J and somebody else. Like, it was like a bunch of them all together. Oh. So, is it official? Like Versus is over with? Versus is dead? Or what? They won't. They trying to get Usher and Chris Brown. Because Chris Brown said he wanted to do it with Usher. Yeah, Usher uh, and Chris Brown would be dope. Those both... Michael Jackson's sons. And you know, you got Men Bleak and Joel's, they talked about doing it. Because Jada was the first, the last dope one, man. Dipset Lock. Jada set the ball. Yeah, it hasn't been a one. I guess that was the last good one. Nah, the last good one was Jada kissing the locks. Yeah, 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 official good one, yeah. But that one, Karis one, Big Daddy King was the last, you know, big one, I guess I could say. Yeah. But you know, but you know, going on for a little bit, we're gonna go in and hit y'all with some more music. I wanna play this track here for my man. He's from Michigan, go by the names of Substance 810. And his track here is Who that? Who that? No word. My man Substance. Who that? From substance, Michigan. Where do we from? Oh, it's Substance. This one of your clients? 
Nah, man, nah, man. That's one of. She met this cat on um, when he was doing a show out here a while back. Really don't, cool don't dude, man. Don't try to be. Don't don't try no slickery shit. Oh, no, 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 no. We on you, E. We on you. We on you. We ain't gonna blow you up, bro. We on you. No, no. We, know that he shit. He good. He good. He good. Y'all, y'all ain't gotta put me in the headlock this week, man. I'm good. Yeah, I'm tired of putting you in the headlock. Oh, yeah, Connor. <laughs> yeah, you like a punching bag that got the holes in it and leaking and got put tape on that shit? I'm sick of I don't punching you, I mad noogies that- I gave E mad noogies already, kid. Mad noogies he got for me. But it's love, though. It's love, man. I mean, come on, man. Y'all, like, y'all, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you know, the family member. Let's hear this shit yeah, you got right now online, man. Get out. <laughs> no, it is your mistake and your lie. This is the end of your career. Yeah, live from the mitten. Definitely land and shit. Chuck Chan on the beat though. Yo, yo, yo. Rapping raw, straight up out the Pyrex. Pockets bulging like a bicep. Now that's how I flex. You got some gall, you think you hard? No, not at all. You soft as a cotton ball. Watch your jaw, I knock it off. Whipping words up in pots and jars. Hard like you, imposter raw, flying saucer bars, every line in the connect, enter my mind, my intellect, energized, look alive, cause I've been a threat, relying on the God in me, no mystery, in the booth, shooting like pistol beat, just a breeze, my whole life like a lucid dream, infectious like a new disease, got him saying who is he? Uh, hey yo, what's up, who you thought it was, got it out the mud, most of y'all just bought your buzz. You know the fame is the grave addiction I made something out of scraps like slaves and chitlins We take a slice of bread, then we make a loaf The circle small, prick your finger, then you take a oath All the war, we humble them and then we take control Raw, no bacon, so the dog, hope you taking notes We take a slice of bread, then we make a loaf The circle small, prick your finger, then you take a oath All the war, we humble them and then we take control Raw, no bacon, so the dog, hope you taking notes Don't shit, swan and gnosis I got explosives, straps to the house, to the polis. Take notice, the goldsmith. Watch me hang niggas with no rope, it's the most potent. Virtual soul like Joseph, my island floating. Like I leap off, he's like Moses. No rip between me and my team, we taking O's, bitch. 20 leader culture, telepathic force choke ya. Favorite rapper, make them submit to the utmost. Scenery cut throat, greenery much growth. Profits abound exceedingly because my cuts gross. Off top, ISIS, meteor strikes hit your dome. Spit the wigs like we trying to search for life. This the crisis. Take a seat before you get beheaded and be another conspiracy thread on Reddit, motherfucker. We take a slice of bread, then we make a loaf. The circle small, prick your finger, then you take a oath. All the war, we humble them and then we take control. Raw, no bacon, so the dog, hope you taking notes. We take a slice of bread, then we make a loaf. The circle small, prick your finger, then you take a oath. All the war, we humble what? them and then Giant. we take control. Hey, Raw, no bacon, so the dog, uh-huh. hope you taking notes. Nagasaki, niggas know the flow flame. I don't play whole games or argue with no name. Rappers who invest they whole stock inside a gold chain. You need cream if you go on ball, it's like Rogaine. Eating beef, low main. Trying to walk, I swear that shit like cocaine. Cheap and I've been high for like the whole day. You niggas wanna role play, niggas no way. Tried to fit the whole thing in her mouth, she said okay. Fucked it, then I'm out. I'm on the run like OJ, she want a genuine man. I told the bitch you not so late to keep it real with you. You more circus so late, expecting me to play a clown. My moral compass helped me navigate my way around life. My style nice, low sweater with the capital P, Sean Bright. Uh, extra shrimp for my fried rice. They say you only live once, I nearly died twice, what? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I'm with the streets made, street raised, represented for the homies on lock of six feet grave. And these days it's a must, just stay solid. The rules you should follow is either you get swallowed, homie. Now stand up, put your motherfucking hands up. This ain't no jack move, nigga. Pull your pants up 
And man up, you out here looking like a dancer. Jojo, shooting at children, and that's a no-no. You up the fo fold, you better be ready for what's behind it. These niggas ain't playing, they come to find him. Now let the street lights blind him. Staring at his eyes wide shut, the way they did it was fucked up. But that's how it goes. One minute you ten toes, and the next you hear a pop and you bleeding and out cold. These youngsters amongst us thinking they bout to punk us. And don't realize that we the ones that got shit crunk up. If you were father, then you raise your son. If you were mama, pray those days don't come. Death is permanent. Ain't no coming back from that. You ain't the only one walking around strapped in back. They got guns everywhere you look. A potential killer lurks in every hand you shook. Yo, we did it for dope and the dollar signs. You did it for likes all uh, on your lives. Yeah, right. for what the streets made, street raised. Mama through yeah. L.A. fucking with bees in the feet. Stuck in the D game. I got different flavors of dope. Like niggas got weed strains. Wait till the rigor mortar set in. That nigga freeze frame. My flow came on a tugboat. Sitting on, got him comatose. Gotta watch it these days. They can trace it back when a nigga overdose. Took his ass on the tour. When it came to rap, he was just a local hoe. Space rapping, nigga worldwide. So sold out. Don't both coast. Nigga cold that shit. We jack these rappers. Why do y'all stop it? Nigga, let me hold that shit. Shit. Maybe if your jewelry wasn't so blurry, nigga could've sold that shit. Nigga came made deep and still couldn't kill me. That was some whole ass shit. They done forced my hand, I'd have made my plan. Nigga ready for the blowback, bitch. Grimlin' like Kodak, bitch. I done bust that pipe, then I swipe that barrel out, then I sold that shit. I dig her down, she got potential, then I might mold that bitch. And I better not ever get prosecuted for nothing. I told that bitch, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy Radio. We always be dropping that shit. You heard? Shit you ain't gonna hear nowhere else. And that's what make our shit pop. Yeah, what was that joint right there? I know that was some, some West Coast shit, but what was that? This joint here is from DJ Muggs featuring Scarface and Freddie Gibbs. Street mine. Oh, that's that new joint. Yeah, that's that new joint. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's off that Soul Assassin album. Yeah, that's that's something special. Cause we never heard Mugs and Face do work together, so we had to put that we had to put that one on for real. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's up, up, man. It's Brooklyn Radio. Always hang out with that fly shit. That fire. So yeah, man, we got to wrap this episode up in the books, man. We're going to end it with Planet Asia floating to the max. want to thank you guys once again for the build. I'm enjoying rocking with y'all, staying headlock free. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, nigga, we here. Till next week. That yeah, yeah, out. yeah. Same, same school channel. time, same school channel. All right. You heard who went. Hey, yo, Jeremy. Hey, yo, yo. Yo, what should we get, man? Snowboards and skis, man. That's it. All right. Hey, yo. Yo, tell Noy to go get me one of them George Foreman grills, man. You know what I'm saying? That nigga JR talking about making some fucking... Orange salmon and shit, man. C-Mos morning. Pull out the bullet, need my minerals. Blend it up, it keeps me performing. Running plays at the dinner table, multi-income. Flooding every platform with that one and this one. Versatility is a must whenever I bust. Chain trust shit is a must whenever discussed. Piling up my ones for my son. Four spots to the industry. This is how you know that I'm coming. It's getting heavy like a hundred thousand dollars and twenty. While I'm floating through the city with a blick and a blitty. Mind racing. I never play the streets close. It can get the people. Might be the one you love that'll sign a statement. 
But on a positive note, the saga was broke. One of the hottest novelists broke. You think the same old drug story, you're coming off as fake woke. Would it be condescending if I told you take notes? We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight. We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight. We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight. We float to the, we float to the. We float to the motherfucking back tonight. No lingering. All I want to see is workers. If I'm not being productive, then I feel like I'm loitering. Lord of the Rings, I make a movie every season. Smooth selling. Dudes better get more season. My hands rock the queen size Prado. From Africa to Barbados. My frequency is yayo. I put the stamp on this choice of taste. The voice of grace. Same time the Robin Hood to hoist the cake. Hand me the mic and handcuff your wizards. Cause the presence of the golden one is known to cause a blizzard. Break laws of physics. Total K. I was cosmic feeling, then I relax, kicking back, watching all my children. We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight. We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight. We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight. We float to the, we float to the, we float to the motherfucking max tonight.